Hi, I'm Sakit Bansal, and I'm again exploring how to use AI, especially ChatGPT, for your project management related activities. Today, I'm focusing on how do I decide with the help of my AI friend about project lifecycle, I can take some advices and probably find out high level lifecycle approach for a given project. Yeah? So it's like initial type of activity which you do in your project, which is more related to selection of life cycle. Many of you keep wondering, should we use agile here? Should we use predictive here? Should we use hybrid here? How do we decide about selecting a particular life cycle? That's the point we are exploring today with the help of our AI friend. So let's go. So I'm starting with a blank prompt. And uh, this time I'm asking the chat GPT to ask me questions so I can provide relevant details about my project uh, and uh, that can help the, 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 the AI tool to recommend me a life cycle approach. So I'm starting with, I want to select project life cycle. and development approach for my new uh, website uh, 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 for, for my new project. Let's stick to that. Uh, what information do you need so that you can advise me a suitable life cycle let's start with that so i'm asking me the tool to ask me the question so that probably i can answer those questions and uh, uh, do the uh, thing now uh, uh, i asked this kind of question before and i got similar type of questions now these questions can be prepared in advance now if you have a regular such kind of activity your project management process may tell that whenever you want to select a life cycle, you need to focus on answering these questions. And once we feed these questions, uh, overall the chat GPT or any AI tool, maybe equivalent AI tool will be able to help us in suggesting it. Now, incidentally, in this case, I prepared the answers before. So let me show you my questions and answer. There could be a little bit deviation in the set of questions this time, which we got from the tool. So I'm sharing my word file where uh, I have questions and answers written in advance. So the question was here, it was asking industry as well, but this time uh, I'm uh, like the last time it was not asking about industry. So the question was about project scope and complexity detail about your size, complexity, specific requirement of the project, including the project well-defined or it's likely to evolve. So my answer was the projectcarriercoach.com is going to be a web-based application. We'll have development effort of around 100 uh, uh, months i can put it as a man months also and duration will be around one year so which means which will have around 10 people team uh, and the requirements are defined at a high level expected to emerge as we go it will be fair to say that we know boundaries of the requirement but uh, not the detailing yeah? so details will emerge but we know overall boundaries of this particular requirement that is coming here okay so a second question here i am looking at which came from chat gpt uh, also like uh, stakeholder involvement, information about how stakeholder engagement will be there. So my answer is some stakeholders can get involved frequently, but the senior management who is also critical for decision making wants to get involved less frequently, like once in a month. Yeah. So some stakeholders are available to support on a weekly basis, but others are available at a monthly basis. So that's something I am talking about my project situation. Now, the question was about budget and time, detail about budget time constraint for the project. So I'm saying, Around 30% of the, the budget is, is having flexibility as well as estimate, but there has to be some kind of, of overall understanding of time and, and budget, but 30% variance might be a tolerable. Risk tolerance, I'm saying average, based on practical input, stakeholder will decide about the risk. So we are not want to aggressively take risk. We, don't, we are not very uh, like uh, uh, averse about risk. We are balanced, we are pragmatic approach for the risk. Resource availability, most of the resources are in-house and dedicated to the project. So I'm saying 100% resource allocation. Yeah? So 100% uh, uh, resource allocation. So there is no shortage or issue related to the uh, thing. Industry and regulatory requirement, I'm saying no specific industry compliance. Yeah? Uh, generic organization level process compliance need to be followed. Yeah? 
uh, like uh, uh, following the the quality process, uh, quality policy, uh, and uh, maybe uh, some of the metrics. Uh, we do have frequent process audits, so I can say that also. Yeah, maybe that is also a, a, a situation in my 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 uh, project or my organization. Team skills and experience. So, team is mix of uh, fresh and uh, uh, experienced people. The experienced people have worked in agile and waterfall. So, it was asking, you know, uh, and I can say the overall team size is ten. All team size is ten. Five are fresh from college, and other are other are old, experienced. Previous project management experience, insight from previous project, including what worked well in the past. So usually the organization take hybrid approach. That's the organization style. Desired quality level, good quality with the less rework. This, the red color is my answers. This time I prepared some part in the advance. And communication, real time, uh, and uh, uh, I will say the rich communication is needed. So if I take uh, uh, these questions and I go to ChatGPT and paste my answers there, probably I should get uh, uh, insight about selecting the life cycle. So let's go back to the prompt and say, so here are some questions and answers which might be useful for selecting or suggesting the life cycle. If you need more information, do let me know. Yeah, so I'm keeping it open uh, uh, so that it is not limited to the uh, current set of recommendations. So now the chat GPT is processing my answer, you know, agile and flexibility and emerging requirements. So they are summarizing uh, uh, that, you know, uh, uh, so we are saying that you should be taking hybrid approach, okay? So career coach should be a hybrid of agile and waterfall methodology. And they are explaining me why. Agile for flexibility and emerging requirements, since requirements are expected to emerge, methodology like Scrum and Canvas will be useful. Hybrid approaches for the stakeholder engagement, because we can see that given some stakeholders are available frequently, others are senior management monthly, so you need to do something there. A budget and time constraints, so again, pointing to hybrid approach, resource allocation and team composition with dedicated in-house resources and mix of fresh and experienced people. A hybrid approach will leverage the strength of both the agile and waterfall. Process compliance, they are reminding that, you know, you are in a process compliance space, you probably need to do. And they are reminding me that, you know, you have been doing hybrid approach. So that seems to be a good idea. So yes, I explained about my project based on the question I got, and I got a recommendation for hybrid approach also. Now I want to get into little detail and says, okay, suggest me some phases or overall project life cycle for this project. Just, yeah, I understand it's a hybrid approach, but how should we go about it? What kind of thing we should have? Let's understand. So it is coming based on the hybrid approach, waterfall and all. They are saying that you should have an initiation phase, okay, uh, which will be overall defining the high level objectives, stakeholder analysis and feasibility study. Then we should have design and requirement gathering. And then uh, you should have an iterative development approach. So in a way, what they, uh, the, the default phasing strategy which is coming here is, that spend some time initially to come up with the uh, with the high level requirement and design, and then do an iterative way of working uh, when it comes to the execution. So that's the overall approach it is recommending. Uh, probably I can say that uh, uh, maybe I uh, I would like to have at least five commercial or a business releases in this project, I could say at least five incremental business releases in this project. So suggest a life cycle which focuses on incremental release of application. Yeah. Let's see what comes out. 
Yeah, so I am giving my input. That, okay, I got some idea, but can you do something more? And probably want to give me some release uh, boxes where you can say uh, we can do uh, something around that. Yeah. Okay, so again, it is saying planning phase, initiating phase, initiating and planning phase, which is also coming up with a little bit of artifact as well, design phase and development phase in iteration, saying sprint planning, sprint uh, incremental development and testing and release. Uh, but I still am not getting the release level breakup here. Uh, it is still probably uh, releasing, uh, putting the things in a in a similar manner. So this doesn't look good to me, at least, because it is just coming as a release. Now it is my final try. If the tool can give me some breakup breakups, else I need to take this into my Word file and do it myself. So now probably I need to give a little specific advice that, OK, development phase should be divided into three sub phases and each sub phase should result into a, a, a release yeah so i'm i'm sticking to three now so i can say uh, development phases should be uh, 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 should be done development should be done using two weeks sprint yeah using two weeks sprint and every two months we should have commercial release. So plan the work or uh, uh, iterations in such a, or, or I would say propose or so, so suggest the work, suggest the work phasing uh, or, uh, uh, or suggest the iteration in such a way. So we have around four, three to five release as part of life cycle approach. Yeah, I'm... So given the requirement using two weeks sprint for the development and aiming for commercial release every two months, okay. A structured project life cycle or career work can be designed as follow. So we can say that there should be an initial approach for three to five commercial release of project duration. So again, focusing on initiating planning, kickoff planning and release planning, and high level sprint planning, first development cycle, two months, sprint one to four, execute two month sprints, continuous development and testing, stakeholder engagement, uh, final release preparation, one to two weeks, and subsequent uh, development cycle each two months, further sprints, four sp uh, sprints per cycle. So it is suggesting some ideas. So more or less, yes, we get a, a overall view. Again, I need to work a little bit to figure out more specific details. Uh, if we integrate further, if I feed the requirements as well and we have a product backlog created, then we start uh, splitting the ideas into releases as well. Then I can continue with this and come up with the complete project management plan. I can take this idea in a Word file update it there, upload it back, and then we can continue uh, focusing on uh, preparing the whole uh, project management plan using this particular uh, tool and using my own intelligence as well. There was another video which I made where I focused on developing the project management plan. There we started with the overall understanding of the requirement. Here I just wanted to explore the area around project lifecycle selection. So I'm impressed by the first set of questions which we got uh, in order to uh, give us a, a, a thoughtful input related to life cycle selection. And then the analysis of those questions and coming back with some recommendation of hybrid approach. I like the way the justification was there. And uh, uh, I also like the high level overall life cycle which got proposed that coming release planning and all. Uh, yes, I, I was expecting a little more when it came to release level incremental planning. So I was expecting a little bit more structured life cycle approach so that my life, my work get reduced. That's something I think uh, could have been better, but I could feed the data uh, again and probably reach to that particular level or modify the file in my Word document and come to that agreement uh, uh, also. Along with the various phases, because it's a hybrid life cycle, I can go further and talk about what kind of artifacts I want to generate at each phase, and that can further lead to creating the complete project management plan. So this time we were only focusing on selecting the project life cycle for a given project using ChatGPT.